Step one, turn it on, and this heating light will turn off when it's ready. You've got your scoop here, and this is their measure and your tamper. And this is coffee we ground up for you. So uh, you take a little coffee, put it in there. I'm making a mess, but get the idea, put a little bit more coffee in there. And then just ever so lightly push it down. But don't put any like major force on it and then take it off the edges. It's gonna go up under here. There's like a thing and you put it up right in here. You'll see it says insert where the arrows are. See these arrows match up? Insert. And then you turn it all the way until it's in this little lock zone. All right? Now this light will be off in a second. Uh, grab your coffee cup, put it underneath, okay, and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, the light just went off, and you're going to turn this, and your espresso is going to come out here. Now, if it comes out really, really slow, don't panic. It just means you tamp the coffee down too firmly. And what I like to do uh, when I'm making a cup is I'll run it until the heating light comes back on, pause it, and then when the heating light goes off again, let's pause it. Now you could just drink that right now if you like it strong. I like it more Americano, so I'll do a second pass. So when this light turns off, I'll do it one more time. Okay, the light went off, I'm gonna do the second pass. And it's still plenty dark when you're doing it this way, but it lightens it up. If you want just straight espresso, drink the first pass and don't do a second one. And I'll do it until this heating light goes off again, and then I'll stop and that's a full cup. Yep, and there's a cup. Okay, so the heating light just went off for the third time. So if you want steamed milk, I've got about an inch of 2% milk in this little metal container. I'll leave it here so you can get to it. There's a little steam thing over here. You're going to turn it to steamed milk. And you're going to stick that sucker in there until it's just touching it and starts frothing the milk. And you do this for, oh, I don't know, until the whole thing is kind of just frothed up. And uh, just turn that off to the center when you want to stop. 